as for now, uh, we got all the crests, so we're ready to leave the mansion. So, actually, I need to go this way. the shotgun for now we're gonna switch back to the handgun to take care of the all the Cerberi outside of course I uh, don't need all that health because there's plenty out there and we're good oh yeah I still need to pick up that last crest okay Alright, this one I'm gonna focus, because in the last playthrough I fucked up and got the sequence wrong. I missed one of them. And that was the one I missed in the last playthrough. Please be right. There you go. And it is the wind crest. Alright, now we got all four crests. We're ready to leave the mansion. So long, pros. Until we meet again on the next playthrough. Alright, there's two Cerberus out here. Okay, if you're wondering why I was doing that, it's because in the last playthrough, I have had it with that protective wall barrier over there. I am not falling for it again. Alright. Voila! Alright, let's grab the crank. That part never changes. key here? Yes, there is. Nothing on the other side, right? Nope. Alright, how much ammo do I have left? Hmm. It's gonna be close. Alright, 14 shots left. That should be enough to take care of those three Cerberi when you go down the elevator. And we, as we learned from the previous two playthroughs, we do not need to defeat the ones right before the guardhouse. Then again, this is a range mode, so it could be different. Nevertheless, though, I'm not going to bother with those last three. Alright, I'm going to use one of these herbs right now. Alright and then make two of the triple deluxe herbs that I love to make. Thank <laughs> you. 
previous playthrough, or from Jill's playthroughs in arranged mode, we discovered it was in the one in front of the wet, in front of the red doors. <sighs> but, I mean, I totally recall it not always being the case, so, and we're gonna find out, I guess, no matter what. Well, I guess it's not that one, because it didn't do anything. Again, um, I think we're gonna abandon the handgun for the rest of the game now. Alright, we got a lot of herbs. We'll keep that one green one. It'll always come in handy. And we're gonna switch to the shotgun for a while now. And that's all there is to it. Alright, well, the statue stayed there, so I guess that is the correct one. Alright, let's go in here. I'm pretty sure nothing's in that dorm, so I'm not gonna go in there. Let's get a double headshot. Yeah! We got more shotgun shells. Is there still a small key in this cup? Yes, there is. Alright, gotta go in here because the red book's in here. Why does it do that? There you go. Alright, and since Rebecca's gonna be here, we're actually gonna be tinkering with the V jolt this time so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this code 215 it's the same as it was when we first looked at it in the fifth playthrough oh shit okay I had a feeling that was gonna happen so I guess in Chris's game um, two of the three holes are gonna do something so you can only cover one Go to unlock the pharmacy real quick. And grab that 
to 002, Keith. Shoot, we're almost out of room. We are out of room. Probably still a clip in here. I'm just gonna check real quick. Oh, sh oh no. Ha! I forgot that they swap it with the 003 key in this one. chain of events that we've witnessed so far, uh, it will not go down the same as it did in the previous two playthroughs. Uh, let's check in here real quick. Nope, just a clip. That was pretty close. <laughs> That tells you that's different. And he's not getting slammed. Oh! Yep, majorly different. Chris! Rebecca! No, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. How do you know that? You could. Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you! Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Rebecca, please. Chris, don't die. <laughs> All right, so yet again, you get to control Rebecca and you have to save Chris once again, this time by creating the beetle and applying it to Plant 42's roots. Now, yeah, as you can see, I didn't get the map, so it's showing you a blank location. But, here's the thing. Major difference uh, between the last time you controlled Rebecca and this time. This time you could take as long as you want before you finally apply the vigil. The plant, before you finally apply the vigil. That's allowing me to talk to you guys like this. So, yeah, it's funny how she says, don't die. He never is until, he never will. He never will until you... Whoa! I guess that's what I get for lollygagging in front of the hornet's nest. <laughs> anyway, I heard what I said. You have unlimited time to do this vigil business, so... Yeah. Alright, so Rebecca can handle chemicals, and that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so if you remember from the... Pr uh, the ver if you remember from the first two playthroughs, the sequence we need to do is right here. All right, so we're gonna do just that. And we only need three of the four bottles they offer us in order to make it. All right, so first thing, we gotta do one plus two equals three. And water is considered one. And two is right over here. Combine, make three. Now we gotta do three plus four equals seven. Four is over here, and we have three now because of the one plus two. Now we got seven. Now the next thing in the sequence is seven. 
Next thing is in the sequence is 7 plus 6, and in order to make 6, we need to combine 4 and 2. Now we got 13. And now the final sequence is 13 plus 3, so we just have to make 3 again. And if you manage to make a number that's nowhere on that sequence, you're either going to get gassed or you're just going to fail the experiment. <laughs> And voila, we got the V-jolt.